Can you tell me how you first got the idea to create the Kingsway Music Library, making original music that other people could sample? That really came from me just being like a super hip hop kid, sampling records and, uh, you know, starting to get some work and working with like a couple major label artists and either my records getting shelved because they were samples or just like being taxed, crazy publishing, crazy fees on it. And I was obsessed with, uh, I mean, I was just like obsessed with music and collecting music and collecting records. So I was always curious about how to make shit sound like the records I love. So that's how I got into making samples. They were for me and then I started distributing them to my, to my friends. And You've co-written with, made beats for or co-produced Drake, Kanye West, Weekend, Kendrick Lamar, Lord. I mean, it, the list goes on. Yeah. Camila Cabello, Cardi B, Rihanna, Post Malone. Are there any experiences, one or two experiences, that really stand out among working with that caliber of artists? Yeah, I mean, every every single artist is so different, and I think every you know each and every artist I probably have you know a special moment with. Um, you know, off top, I think uh, I mean the night we made congratulations with Post, we were like. It was like 40 people in the studio, me, Metro, him, uh, Post, and uh, we were watching the Olympics, and his manager comes in yelling, yo, congratulations, bruv. He's like this British dude, Dre. Shout out to Dre. Um, and yeah, the song was really just birthed out of this like weird, singular moment. And uh, you know, re you know, this rarely happens, but the song was finished by the end of the night. It's like four, four or five hour session you know, a uh, fuck load of people in the room and, uh, you know, a finished song. I understand that, you know, in addition to sort of studying hip-hop producers, you studied all kinds of producers, like Phil Spector, David Of course, Oscar, yeah, yeah, those Gamble. are like my favorite producers, yeah. Yeah, that is just, it's not just about that, it's like broad in terms of what yeah. you listen to and all that. Yeah, I think like, uh, sorry, what was the question? <laughs> just just that, I mean, it's, it's it, what made you look beyond that hip hop sort of template? Or I mean, I, a lot something. of it just comes from being a fan of music. So, you know, for me, it's like, you know, I always studied records and read the back of records, see who was doing what. But, um, you know, I think that like hip hop is the one genre where, you know, people expect maybe it's like, oh, if, if you're the producer on it, you played everything and you made the beat and whatever, where, you know, I think I kind of looked at it a, maybe a little differently and, and, and looked at it like, you know, my favorite producers who, who are, you know, really like, I guess, you know, orchestrators and would put together the right people in the room and, and really make sure you had the best of everyone doing the best things and for the best results in the end. And, you know, that's how I've always tried to approach it. What would be your number one piece of advice to a songwriter just starting out? Um, figure out how to do something that no one else does. How has SoCan helped your career? SoCan has supported me from the start, so, you know, from the jump, they've really, um, you know, reached out and uh, gave me money when I needed it, <laughs> straight up. So, shout out to SoCan.